going on everybody? Welcome back to another aquarium video. If you guys happen to miss it, I posted a video towards the beginning of the year, I think. It explained how I got into the hobby, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. But I hinted at my second tank in that video, and today I'm going to go ahead and talk about what exactly is going on in that tank, because it's pretty interesting. It kind of threw me for a loop. As you guys can see, there are a ton of baby fish in here. And they came from my Dalmatian Molly that I bought at the pet store, which I guess was pregnant when I bought it and I had no clue whatsoever. Once I noticed my Dalmatian Molly was kind of looking a little chubby, I was like Googling like, is this fish pregnant? And I kind of just determined it was. That's the key to anything is to just do a ton of research on how to do things. But at that point, I kind of decided, you know what, like I'm going to keep these baby fish. I think it'll be really fun and kind of exciting and cool to see them grow up. And that's exactly what I did. So I had this other 10 gallon tank and originally I had got the tank to just kind of be a quarantine tank so that when I bought new fish, I could put them in there before I then put them in my 20 gallon later. But it kind of worked out this way too. I was like, if my molly fish does end up having babies, I can throw them in this tank and this can be like their grow out tank. So I did throw some plants in this tank and some a couple of moss balls because I kind of wanted them to help soak up like extra nutrients and stuff like that to kind of like get algae growth out of the way. And I already had a couple of these autosynclus catfish in here to kind of deal with algae or anything like that. And I've actually had no algae problems whatsoever in this tank, unlike my other 20 gallon, which has a bunch of fake plants and I've had to deal with algae in that thing a bunch. But as for the baby mollies, you're gonna see them in this video from about the first time I moved them in here. So when they were just like a day or two old or something like that, up until now, uh, towards like at the end of the video, you'll see where they are now And I think it's been about a month and a half It was something like the first or second of December when I moved them in this tank It's currently January 20th and I'm not exactly hundred percent sure what I'm gonna end up doing with them uh, I've already contacted a local fish store and uh, they said they'd gladly take them for store credit So I always have that as an option I'm not sure I might keep a couple or something like that or sell a couple to friends most likely I'll have to decide that here in a couple weeks but for how to care for these fish, it's actually pretty simple. I've got them here in just a 10 gallon tank, which may be a little small. If you've got something bigger than that, use a 20 or 30 gallon tank or something like that. But for the time being, this is all I have and it's worked pretty well. When it comes to food, you can feed them flakes. You just have to make sure you crush them up so that they're small enough for them to eat. Um, I actually found that they really like these algae pellets. Uh, which I was feeding my auto sinkless catfish anyways, so that kind of worked out. They love those algae pellets um, Once they got big enough, I started feeding them these shrimp pellets as well uh, And they like those as well. So they're not really picky eaters um, Once in a while I feed them blood worms So they'll pretty much eat anything just make sure for the first few weeks or so you're really crushing up the flakes so they can eat it I probably do water changes on this tank a little more than often with I'd probably do like two a week to be honest just to be safe I've gone a couple weeks where I just do one a week. At first I didn't know how much to feed them and stuff like that so I had some kind of like excess food in there. So I made sure to clean the gravel and soak up some of that extra food to keep the tank clean. Um, as they get bigger they will be producing like a ton of waste so that's why I do kind of like twice a week water changes to, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Look at this they really love the heater for some reason. Every time it comes on they just crowd around that thing and what's really funny is the mama molly does the same exact thing. So they pretty much take after their mother. I think the only thing I probably would have done a little bit different about this tank is I do have a hang on the back filter. And uh, when they're really young, it's kind of dangerous because they can kind of get sucked up in there. I got kind of lucky. I'm almost 100% positive none of them got sucked up in there. Uh, if I could do over, I would, I would do a sponge filter. But as I explained earlier, I wasn't planning on having a bunch of baby fish. So I originally just had this tank as a quarantine tank, not a fish to, you know, grow out fry. So that's all I really had. If I do a fry tank to grow out more fry in the future, I'll probably switch to a sponge filter just to be on the safer side. Uh, but this actually worked out really well for me. You're probably not gonna make a ton of money if that's what you're planning to do off these mollies. Uh, stores aren't gonna be able to give you a ton, but they will give you, you know, like a fair amount. 
And uh, if you're just trying to get some store credit, you know, you need to buy some filter cartridges or a couple plants or maybe a couple Tetras or something, um, it'll be really useful. You know, you can use that money to kind of support your hobby. But yeah, taking care of the fry is super easy. It's almost like taking care of any other fish in your aquarium with a few slight tweaks like breaking down the food. Try, try and get a sponge filter if you're planning on doing this and uh, do a few more water changes than normal and clean the gravel. But other than that, guys, that's what I've got in my 10 gallon tank, my second tank in my room. Uh, it's been actually a really fun and rewarding process to see these little guys grow from little baby fries, so freaking tiny, to where they are now a month and a half later. And here in a couple weeks, they'll be even bigger. And that's when I'll take them to the fish store, but it's gonna be sad to see them go actually, because this whole thing has been so fun watching them grow up. Um, Anytime I have people over, they're like, oh my God, look at all the baby fish. So if you guys are looking to do this, or maybe you have a pregnant fish at home that you're like, oh man, what do I do? But you wanna keep the baby fish. Just go out and get a simple 10 gallon tank with a heater, sponge filter. You can get those for pretty cheap and uh, you'll be set. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on the molly fry. If you have a pregnant fish at home or you wanna raise some baby fish, go ahead and just do something similar to what I did. And uh, I'm sure you'll be successful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you think I should have done something better, let me know. I'm definitely no aquarium expert. I just got into the hobby last year and uh, I'm still learning as I go. So I've learned a lot, but I'm sure there's a ton more to learn. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because I have a ton more aquarium videos coming. If you guys have any suggestions for fish you want to see or tips or anything like that, let me know down in the comments below and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.